Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my Gondor campaign for Divide and Conquer with the AGO and Zas Sub Mod. I know it's been a while since I last sat in this chair. Uh, I've not been doing so great lately. Um, and the th funny thing is, the previous episode that I recorded was actually the day that it really started, <laughs> for real. Um, I've been sick um, quite um, long as well, it's not leaving the body, I'm still sick as well when I'm sitting here. But I'm feeling a lot better now than I did 3-4 days ago. <clears throat> I'm getting better, I'm still sick, but... Uh, I'm, I'm think, I think I'm healthy enough to actually record. If I start feeling bad in mid-recording, I'm gonna try and end it uh, there. But, but I know you guys have waited a long time for another episode. It's gone like eight days since I last recorded, so I really want to record again. And um, yeah, provide you with some content, because I enjoy this. These last days have been insanely boring. Uh, they've been absolutely so boring and I want to have some fun. Uh, I've actually went to work even though I've been sick. Um, my workplace is not in the best situation. We're in a better situation now but uh, I've actually been at work as well even though I've been sick which is not great at all. You shouldn't do that but um, I felt like I really would let my colleagues down if I weren't there and I know that they needed me there so my days have basically been go to work and be absolutely destroyed when you go, go, go home. Destroyed, totally exhausted um, and sick. So I've been working, eating and sleeping. That's the only thing I've done these past eight days. And th this is the first day where I actually feel kind of okay. So I want to have some fun, you know. I really want to. Because you look forward to this. Uh, it makes your work days even better to have something to look forward to, record something, sit in the chair, talk a bit of nonsense and have fun, you know? And uh, yeah, that's about it. Now you know. I'm not dead. I'm here. <laughs> I hope a lot of you guys read my message that I posted on the in the community tab on YouTube um, so that you know. And now I'm back, so hopefully I'm not gonna be worse. After this, um, hopefully I'm recovering accordingly now. Um, well, let's not uh, talk any more about that, because that's not why you are here. You're here to watch me destroy Mordor. And we end the previous episode a bit swiftly, so I'm not entirely sure where we were at. Um, <clears throat> the Witch King is over here. We could probably move out with some forces here and take him down. We should do that. Um, we have a guild as well, which I didn't go for. Uh, I didn't even take time to watch that. We're not going to go for that either. We are going to, however, recruit one spear here. And then we're going to click accept. Um, yeah, so we're going to move out with an army and take the Witch King of Angmar down. That's one of the things we should try and do. And Longgarlan, we're all, almost ready with the Merchant's Wharf. We're gonna try and go for the roads instantly after. Um, I think they can bring in, bring in a lot of money. We're also sending these guys to the fort here. To have a little tiny garrison. If Inidwaith decides to be aggressive. We have a tiny little force here. Uh, that can defend a little while. Give us some kind of warning uh, before they strike. Uh, we have decent garrisons all across the board here. I mean, Tirithoros is quite healthy. Uh, the garrison is decent here. I really would like to get some archers here though, but... Can we get any archers? Do we have any archers nearby? We have some pikes here. That is something we really want to maybe send down there. And I think we should. We cannot get... We, I, I really want to have one archer unit. We, we should move this pike unit down there though. Send them down there. Um, we could... I think we should send one of the ranger units over there. <clears throat> because we have two pikes here. And that's enough against Kand, I think. So these guys are going into the fort for one turn. And then we're going to send them into Tirithoros. 
I'm more afraid of Harad than I, than I am of Kand, because Harad have they have these pikes, nine attack, nine attack, it, on this pike unit. That's a starting pike unit, and they have better da attack than Fountain God. What does the Fount Fountain God have? Nine as well. They have the same attack as the Fountain God. I mean, these Haradrim pikes can carve through anything. They can carve through anything we have with ease. And that's why we need at least one or two arch units inside of this region. Because uh, that's the only weakness they have. I mean, they would crush Ringlo Swordsman, Lamadon Clansman, the Spears. They would crush them so easily within seconds. So we need archers there. That's why I'm sending the Ranger there. And, if I remember correctly, we also need to keep on scouting down here. After uh, Haradrim ships. Oh, what do we have there? We have a ship there! Oh, look at that. We're gonna take it down. We are going to take this ship down. Uh, with our fleet. Uh, they don't have any units inside. Well, that's good. Just attack, please. Just get rid of them. Uh, we need to keep a constant watch on the sea with our ships. You need to keep on scouting it down here. Go down. Oh, thought I saw, saw a ship there, but no. Uh, you can go, actually go over there and block the port. Want to be... We need to scout. We need to scout for those bloody ships because they can be... We, we might lose Global Tallfallers here. If they sneak a ship over here, we're not going to be able to act in time and they're going to take Global Tallfallers. That's the sad truth. Uh, other than that, I think we are good to go and go in for a battle here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Forlong is going to go in for a battle here against the Witch King. We do not want him to group up with, let's say, this army. Uh, because he's going to be more of a threat if he does that. We also have some forces here. And we're going to send them to you just a lot. Um, they're much more needed there than at Kirith Ungol. Let's send the pikes with Forlong here. And let's send some archers as well. We can send the axe guys as well actually. Send them in. And he retreated actually. Let's go after him. And let's bring him down. The pikes will deal with the Witch King. The archers will just harass these guys. And the axe throwers are decent to have. They can crush the Black Oaks. They can even crush the which King of Angmar, if they get an opportunity to fire at him. So, that's the plan. And before we go in, I just want to say that I'm really happy to be back. I hope that you are as well. I've missed you guys a lot. And, uh, yeah, let's go in and fight the Witch King of Angmar. It seems we have an uphill battle, kinda. Let's see where they have put their troops at. Uh, for long, you're going to be striking here. Archers, we want to harass their army as much as we can before the battle begins. Because the Witch King, even though we have pikes, he can still do a lot of damage. Uh, his ca cavalry unit is insanely powerful. So we need to be ready for that with the pikes. But the pikes, these pikes especially, have been upgraded. They are really strong. And uh, they're going to be insanely useful in this fight. We just need to tie up the Witch King with the pikes. And we should be able to kill him swiftly. Let's take a look at these guys. 6 attack, 80 in the face. I mean, these guys have silver experience, an extra sword, and they have a 6 attack. And these guys are pretty good, but they have a 6 attack. And the Haradrim have a 9, and they're early tier pikes as well. So you can just imagine how powerful they are when you look at their stats. I mean, Haradrim would be fun to play. You could just... Go for a full stacked pike army and you would wipe out everything in your path with those guys. I can guarantee you that. As long as you have a decent general that can keep the morale up, you would wipe them out easily. Um, they have some orc scouts, uh, which can do some damage to me. They're not that strong though, so I'm not too worried about those guys, if I'm totally honest. Let's bring forth the archers. The pikes can move up a little bit more here. Uh, we really want to make sure that we get one of the pike units in a fight with the Witch King. That's really quite important. We're going to stay in the back here. We don't want the, their archers to fire at these guys. If they can fire at the archers, that's totally fine. We can reach the Temple Knights with the archers. And I think we should actually try and harass them. 
a bit. Form up over here, for long, you will stay behind them. Axe throws, you can slowly walk up here. Let's see, can we bring some of these horses down with Archer Fire? If we can, it might be worth firing on these guys. But uh, these guys are tough. 30 defense, 18 armor, it's not gonna be easy. I think we're gonna fare a lot better if we use the pikes only at the, these guys, because we're not gonna bring them down with Archer Fire, I don't think so. Fire at the black Uruks with your archers. Axe throwers, if you can go in range against the Temple Knights, that would be really quite great. You're still firing at them. Fire at the black Uruks instead. They're moving forth. Axe throwers, you need to be close behind here. Yeah, they're sending forth the front line against ours. Going for guard mode here and just stand your ground. Let's see if we can maybe reach. If we can hold here without igniting the wrath of the Witch King, we're going to keep this position. Because these guys are not going to fare well against my pikes. He's still not moved a muscle. Uh, as long as he's not doing anything, we can keep them where they're at. Uh, for long, you can actually do a cheeky little flank here against the Black Uruks if you want to. Um, we could even throw one volley at them with the axe throwers. Are they going to move now? I think they might be. They're going after my axe throwers. That is not good. That is not good. Okay. Four long. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go in against them. Face them head on. Okay, they're falling back. They're falling back. Okay, um, don't go after. Don't go after. They're going in for the pikes. That's good. Okay, they're going in again. Bloody hell. Axe throwers. Flank them. Forlong will regenerate, so it doesn't matter if we lose some guys in his unit. And he's over there, he's he, he's in safety. Axe throwers, you need to try and flank here though. Stand somewhere around there and throw your axes at the Witch King. If we can do that, we should be able to bring them down quite swiftly. They're actually falling back here, that is not good. We have brought some of them down though. Prepare to fire at them. Some of their cavalry is actually stuck here with my pikes. Really quite nice. I'm gonna be killed, hopefully. 167. Orc band losing a lot of guys. You can flank these guys if you want to. Or just just fire at these guys for now. I wonder when... Where's the witch? Is he retreating? We really want to kill him in this battle if we can. Okay, he's returning now. He's returning. Stand behind the axes. Where's Forlong? He's over there. He's in a good spot. So we can take a charge from the Witch King here. If they charge the axe, gu axe guards of Los Arnak. They can definitely tank a charge. Especially when he's over there. So, As soon as they're in range. Make sure that you fire accordingly on the Temple Knights here with your axes. You can switch targets as well. Load up the axes and fire. This is going to hurt us. But these guys will regenerate. So it doesn't matter too much. Just throw your axes at the Witch King. There we go. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Yeah, he's, eluding, he's losing a lot of men here. Uh, keep throwing your things at them. You fire at the archers now. One more volley while they're retreating. There we go. There we go. We got some more kills on them there. Wonderful. Keep going for long. Pop the ability as well. Where is Fallon? I think he's still in a decent spot. Probably he is. Yeah. Can't really find him though. Oh, he's over there. He's still in a decent spot. Okay, good. Okay, the Witch King is returning. The Witch King is returning. The archers are firing at my axe throws. Let's fire. Load up the axes and let's get them all in there. This is gonna hurt once again. It's going to hurt, but. Uh, There we go, there we go. Oh. We need to fall back with Forlong after this, I think. He cannot tank more damage. Oh, he's actually in the front lines now, fighting the Black Uruks. Okay, that is not that good. Uh, go for another volley. The Witch King is actually open here. If we can just get 
some axes in the face of him. I think we should be able to bring him down here. Come on. There we go. Oh, they, these guys are tough. These guys are really tough. My pikes are just holding. Uh, archers, I think what you're gonna do, you're gonna flank and act as a melee force. The Witch King of Angmar has died. Good. They're probably gonna break now. Quite swiftly. He's fall on. He is still in the thick of it somewhere. Just can't quite see where he's at. But he is in the thick of it. Probably in the front line somewhere. Doing things. We're gonna flank with you. Flank with everything we have. Seven cavalry remaining. Okay. We need to t take a look and see if we can find this bugger. Okay, I think that's him. Yeah, he's not even blooded up, so we're fine. We are totally fine. Go over there, throw your axes at the Black Uruks. You can actually go into melee with their archers and just break them. They're gonna break swiftly. I mean, these Temple Knights, man, they are tough. Go for a throw. Are you in battle? Okay, we have one guy here, that's why you're not firing. Just go for guard mode and fire at the Black Uruks, please. There we go. And that's hurting them quite hard. And they're broken. Wonderful. These guys are broken. Let's see if we can just mop these guys up and annihilate them totally. Try and chase them down. Pikes, if you can go after the Temple Knights. Let's try and chase them down. My guys are tired though, so we might not be able to. Uh, Fall on. You're gonna pull back. Don't risk getting charged, please. <clears throat> Pikes. Take this off and ch just chase after the cavalry. 77% of their force has been killed. I would really like to wipe this army out. Let's fast forward. They're actually charging here. Oh, look at that. That was insane. Come on. Bring them down. Two guys remaining. Pikes, finish the flipping job, please. There we go. Kill this last guy. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, just fire at him. Do whatever you can to bring him down because he's actually doing serious damage to my guys here. Come on. Oh, he's still, no, he's gonna get the charge off. He's gonna get the charge off. Ah! Finish this bloody guy off. There we go, finally. My voice actually cracked there. End the battle. <clears throat> Uh, we lost 138 guys, but the Witch King's dead, so um, I'm happy. I mean, a lot of the casualties were on the Axe Guards of Los Arnax, and they're going to regenerate, so I'm feeling confident there. The Los Arnax Axe Throwers took some losses in the process, uh, but um, they brought the Witch King down. And the Witch King is now dead for at least 10 turns again, so that's a victory in itself. Well done, Forlong. Well done indeed. Well done. Exterminate them all as always. And can we reach back? We're gonna move a little. No, yeah, there we go. Ah, we cannot quite reach back with Forlong, which is unfortunate. Um, ah, that's actually kind of sad that we can't move back. Um, we can get everyone inside except Forlong himself. He just doesn't have enough movement points. Uh, we're gonna keep him there. This army might attack us, but hopefully they won't. Um, <clears throat> good victory, and I really think we should end a turn here. This guy's headed towards Kalanhad. We're going for the meeting hall here, which is going to make him free upkeep. Uh, and then we're going to send these guys to the front lines as well, even though they're just basic spears. We're going to need them, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to send them over to the Mordor front line. Um, there we go, let's end the turn, because I've done anything, everything we can. We still have the mission, if I remember correctly, with these guys. We're going to be rewarded with a military unit, and that is something... We don't need more ships. We need money elsewhere, not in terms of the naval department. My admiral here has enough ships as it is. Admiral Pellinder, uh, his fleet is quite okay, so we don't need more ships. We don't want to put any more economy into naval warfare. Let's end the turn. I'm so excited to be back and I've actually been thinking a lot about this campaign. It's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this. 
and that's why the sickness just came in badly for me because I really enjoy this. Uh, they're rebelling at Irchest alone, but uh, Forlong is going to be back there in just a sec, so doesn't matter. And I've also not been able to go to the gym either in these past days, so I'm feeling weak as hell as well. Which is sad, but uh, well, you cannot train as well, that would be devastating. Let's, let's accept the guild here. Irchest alone, yep, we're going to send Forlong back in there to keep them happy, repair these things. Um, we have the library, we could go for the school. Cool, but it's quite expensive. I kind of want something else. Let's take a look at the construction report. A lot of roads got done this turn. Durthang has been repaired. Longarlan got the Merton's Wharf. And look at the money we're earning. Look at the money we're earning here. How much would the roads give us? Okay, we're going for the roads. Uh, we're going for the roads. I'm investing on the roads instantly here. Uh, because look at that boost in terms of wealth. Yep, we're going for the roads. No questions asked. And we don't have any more money to do anything with now. Uh, <clears throat> but you guys have suggested that I should invest in the stables in one of my Amrothian regions. And I totally agree with you there. And I think the region... Look at that, we're still number one, except... For Financial, of course. Uh, Varax of Kand are at number one in financial. That is not good at all. Uh, there are enemies. Um, we should invest in... Got some more troops there as well. One more Ballista, wonderful. Uh, we should invest in a stable in one of these regions here. And uh, Dolamroth is, of course, one region we should try and invest in. But there's a lot of economical things that we can gain from getting here. And I think the first region we should try and get these stables at is at Methrust. Because over here, we don't really have a goal with our buildings. Uh, we're just leaving this place as, as it is. Because if I remember correctly, we should be able to get the... Yeah, we can get the best cav here as well. So, over here, I think we should try and go for the cavalry stables at Methrust. What do you need in order to get a nice stables? You need governor's quarters and leather worker. Okay. What do we have? We have the leather worker here already. So that is one thing. So we need the stables and then we need the governor's quarters. And then we can get the night stables. So we're going for the stables at Methrust. Whenever we have money for it. You're marching straight towards... Go into the fort actually for one turn. And then you're going into Tirithoros. You're going in there as well. I want to have a decent garrison because uh, I'm actually kind of scared of the Aradim forces. And this garrison here is not that big anymore. Uh, Harad might just take this one soon. Lin here. Do we need to get a town guard here? I think we need to. I'm going to queue up the town guard here because if they take Barad Horn, we're also going to border them at Lin here. And Lin here is a region which soon is going to make a port and we need this region because it's a wealthy region for us we need this one and uh, yeah let's uh, keep searching for some ships should we can we find any ships anywhere no if you could block the port there feel free to do that uh, let's uh, split up the navy we want to cover as much ground as possible here with the search for ships we don't want to let an, a navy sneak past us here and do damage it seems uh, that they have a ship here okay we have a fleet here and they have an army inside good that we managed to locate this fleet um, can you take them down hopefully you should be able to yes you could where on earth did they go though we did attack them. Yeah, I think we should group up and retreat back over here. Um, those pesky Adonai ships. I'm so happy that we found that ship there. Because they want to land an army here. I'm so sure of it. That army is headed towards Gobel Tulfalas. And if they retreated over here. They could reach us in one turn. So we need to get back over here at once. And guard. Again. Um... You are going in... Oh, look at this. 
runic force is closing in at Gelebrin. We cannot get any mercs either. Okay, this looks like a tiny army. They have five extra units, including the general. Uh, what do you have? Oh, that's marines. Okay, that's not the most scary unit in the world. Um, they have five. I think these guys are pretty hurt because look at the banner. It's not that large. It's not filled up. So I think these guys are pretty hurt. Um, oh, is there anything we can send there? I don't think we can. I don't think we have anything that can actually reach there. We have cavalry that could reach. Um, but... There's one more turn until they sally forth here. I want the cav here. We might send one cav after they have sally forth here. Back to Gellibrin just to make sure that we don't lose this location. <clears throat> okay. You're going into Kalanad. And these spears are going forth. And Ballista, you can go into Kirithungul immediately. Uh, we're going to send everything we have towards Mordor, even though it's only two spear units. They're gonna make some difference. I mean, they can hold the line for a while. We have the pikes here. We should definitely send them as well. They are going to be needed, and we really need a governor here at Minas Tirith, I feel like. Denethor is not suited to garrison Minas Ethil. He needs to be in Minas Tirith instead, I think. But uh, we need him there. We need to free up troops. We have more troops on the way. They're gonna sell it forth. Uh, Boromir is getting actually surrounded here by this army. We should be able to go out and take them down. This is not a dangerous army. Boromir alone could probably take all of these guys down himself. Uh, but the plan is this. Uh, let them sally forth with this army here. Uh, what do you have? You have the Blacker Calvadiers. We have archers. We can deal with them. Let them sally forth. Try and meet up here with this army. Empty Uchastolod and empty Moranon with Faramir and these cavalry forces and try and just surround these guys with the cavalry forces and the archers and just wipe these guys out. We need to wipe this full stack out. Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna get a doomstack spawned in when we take Moranon. So we really need to wipe these armies out. And I really want to free up Boromir as well. As soon as we can. Okay, I'm pretty nervous on ending the turn here, because we have an runic army headed towards Gelebrin. And Harad is kind of aggressive here. They're probably going to try and take Barad Horn as well. It's, ah, oh, I'm actually kind of scared ending here, but we need to end the turn to progress. Uh, we have to. Uh, let's so, ah, oh, let's end it. What is about to happen now? Mordor is going to sally forth. That is something we know. Is Rune going to attack Metgelebrin though? That's probably what's going to happen. Okay. I want to remember that's a castle. It's a castle. And uh, here we go. They're selling forth with their army. Moradon should fall this day. Uh, Burt comes out alone. And he comes with... Defenders, 11 southern lancers and just melee forces. This shouldn't be too problematic. We should be able to kite them easily here. We really don't want to lose any soldiers. All of these soldiers that we have here are worth their weight in gold. So, let's go in and take Burts down and let's take the Moranon for the glory of the Gondorian nation. Let's go in. The battle starts instantly. Let's just remove yourself from the equipment here and let's bring forth the archers first of all and the javelins can actually march forth as well stand up okay let's just bring these guys first and the cav can move up over there i want the cav to harass down their cav just to get rid of them as soon as possible melee forces you can just stand in the back here eorthon you might perform some charges this day so go forth okay uh, the first objective in this battle is to just wipe out their southern lances. Just don't let them get any charges off against my archers. Um, and then we're going to try and kite them with our ranged troops. Oh, we actually have four archers here. That's bloody brilliant. Move them up there, please. Um, cavalry, if you want to, go forth 
They don't have any missiles. You can harass these guys down before they even reach us. Feel free to do exactly that. Mistven of the Lamroth. Look at this bloody beautiful unit. This is a mighty, mighty unit. And we even have the Amrothian general model. That's c cool. That's really cool. Fire the Southron lances. They're pretty fast, but... Uh, nothing we shouldn't be able to handle. You're firing at the Halberdiers. That's not what we want. We want you to annihilate the cavalry units here, first of all. Before they can do anything. There we go. Keep firing on the Southron lances. No, you're not doing it. Southron lances, man. Fire at them. There we go. Bring them down. We're not bringing anyone down at the moment. But soon we should be able to bring some of these cavalry forces down. There we go. One more fall. They're going forth. Okay. We need... Yeah, they're chasing after us. That is actually really good that they're doing that. Give them a volley. If the, if the, Okay, archers, you know, everyone, just fire a volley at this bloody cavalry unit. Because we don't want them to reach or own archers yeah just get rid of them don't let them get their charge bonus off there we go ah these guys are they this tanky there we go one last guy the flag carrier there we go he's dead okay good uh, feel free to harass the living shite out of the halberdiers now they're over there you're gonna do that as well These rangers are absolutely beautiful. They're so bloody good. You're gonna fall back. We're not gonna use you any in this battle at all, I don't think. You we might use. Um, remains to be seen. I think we need to kite back a tiny bit now with the archers. So we're gonna do that. Go back a tiny bit there. The orc defenders are chasing after us. You're not running. Um, make sure that you run. You can throw your javelins at them. Take this on and just kite and fire it. Do whatever you, every, every, whatever you want. Faramir, you need to run. There we go. Can you throw your javelins before they... Okay, they're gonna catch you. Okay, bloody hell. They were too slow. Okay. Well, keep them in a melee here then. It's been some day, day since the last place. I'm a bit rusty here. Um, I hope you can understand why. Okay, they're actually going for us. You're going to charge the Orc Defenders there. Yorthon, you're going to join. We're going to lose some Pelagian Marines here. Not what I wanted, but unfortunately it's going to happen. You are going to charge these guys. Let these guys fire at the Halberdiers. You're going to do the same, actually. Nice charge there. Well done, guys. Well done. Keep going. Go over there instead. Get out of there. Okay, we have almost annihilated this entire army. Go for them again and bring them down. My rangers are firing at the Halberdiers. Keep doing that. You're stuck in that unit. Don't be that. We want you to go out and charge them again. This is going to be a nice charge. I think so. Fire at the you too. Uh, we, we should split you guys up a bit. And charge from different areas. You have freed yourself up. Go for a charge against these guys, please. You will form up over there. And you're going to form up at the siege tower there. Uh, hopefully you're not getting stuck here. No? Oh. Oh. I'm so afraid we're going to have a general getting stuck and die unnecessarily. Going for a charge. You're going for a charge in the back. We're losing some of our marines here. It's sad, but uh, it happens. Okay, this is okay. We have a stuck guy. A guy stuck there. They're not going to charge. Go away. That was a charge. This is a tiny unit though, so that we don't have the wide charge. The uh, Amrothian squires can do better charges because their unit is so large. Going for another. Keep kiting them. Just fire at them. Are you... Yep. Every unit is over there. No one is stuck in here. Good. Going for another charge. This should be a devastating charge. It should be. I think it is. 
There we go. You should go out immediately because the black Uruks, you have actually tied them up a bit there. So, pull back. And these guys didn't charge at all. Okay. Get the hell out of there. Tighten yourself up a bit. You can charge these guys. You should be able to finish them off in a melee. Uh, one more charge to do the trick there, and we should win that engagement. Keep firing on the black Uruks. This sh should end this unit. Almost. There we go. Not entirely, but uh, they are not having the best of days. Uh, let's pop some abilities as well. Let's not forget about that. Okay, the these guys don't even know what they're they should do. They're not in a good place here. Still have some guys. Come on, just finish them off. We want to use the javelins against their halberdiers. They're actually really tanky. They have nice armor, so they can tank a few shots here from the ranges even. But they're not going to be able to tank shots from the Pelagia Marines. There we go. Just finish off these last guys. There we go. Good. Get out of there and form up over there and throw your things at the general, please. Glorious. Form up, throw your shit at them. Let's take a look at this carnage here. There we go. You can help fire at them, please. One more volley. Go forth, go closer to them. One more volley should do the trick here. Fall back. Kite away. If we can just get one more volley with javelins in there, we should be able to kill the general with this volley. Let's take a look. Can we bring him down with javelins here? He is still alive, but as yeah, there he should die from this. He should definitely die. There we go. <clears throat> Glorious. We lost 4%. Um, the Pelagi Marines took some losses this day. But uh, they performed well anyways, they really performed well. These guys are tough, and they have decent javelins as well. Uh, the most kills went to the Amrothian Squires. Well done there. My voice is actually beginning to feel a little bit bad, but uh, uh, I'm feeling good anyways. So we're going to meet at the campaign map shortly. Wonderful victory. We're going to exterminate this location as well, uh, to make sure that they are going to stay happy for a little while and boy oh boy we have an Haradrim army attacking us at Tiritoros um, what do they have inside? probably a lot of pikes I'm guessing uh, Moranon, armsman skill, we have a lot of money nice, oh we should take a look, oh my god uh, where's the, do you have any, any boats anywhere? no we didn't make it we didn't make it. Uh, block the port here, please. Just stay there. Um, let's move back. You're going going back into the fleet. Uh, oh, any other nine ships anywhere? At the coastlines, perhaps? No. You're going into the fort as well. Move into the fort. Um. <clears throat> Go over there for now. What? No, no ship there. Okay, we need to keep a s watchful eye on the coast after this ship. They're actually attacking Baralhan here. And they're probably going to take the take it this time. They're bringing in their faction air. Uh, he's probably a strong lad right there. Uh, what do they have in this army? We have a decent garrison here. What do they have, though? They have some spears, some archers some warband cab archers I'm not afraid of these guys but the, the two units of pikes and one serpent bladesman it's still a pretty solid uh, force especially these two pike units and the general my rangers are gonna have to do a lot of damage against the pikes in order for us to win okay Moranon broken the black gates that stand watch over the withered land have been taken Unyielding in their courage and determination, the attackers have crushed the defenders in their path. The invaders have passed into the Vale of Udun, 
driving before them the remnants of the host that opposed them. Although slowed by the choking fumes and the gloom that hides the reassuring rays of honor, they seem intent on marching further into the lands of shadow. No doubt they will need many more warriors if they hope to pass beyond the Eisenmouth, Eisenmouth or come against the, the Dark Lord himself and siege the gates of the Dark Tower. This victory, though just a prelude, has bolstered the spirits of the free people, rejoicing that the Dark Lord, that the Lord of Deception, may know, n now know fear. For Sauron, it is a warning that the free people have power and valor still, and a will to resist him. He is not unassailable, as he once supposed. Yeah. Glorious victory indeed. What on earth is this? Black Uruk Halberdiers. Okay, let's take a look at the construction report. A lot of new buildings got done. More roads, more mines. The port at Linnea. Look at the... That boosted up the income quite a lot actually. Uh, we're going for the stables at Methrust. Good. I'm really happy about that. Um, okay, what do we want to invest in? Here. These roads are pretty damn good, but we don't have too much wealth to spend. Um, get the cab, please. We're gonna need them. Um, hmm. What? More economy. More economy, definitely. And I think that's exactly what we need. Can we fill up the recruitment slots here, though? Get these guys. Brethil. Uh, not gonna go for that region. Here, not the best mines. Ethring. Decent mines here, really costly though. Uh, Dol we could go for the Mason's Guild House at Dolamroth, that would be really beautiful. We're actually gonna go for that. And uh, it's gonna, it's real expensive, we're out of cash already. Uh, but uh, it's gonna be worth it. And we also, after this roads are done, we're gonna invest in the Mason's House, um, Mason's Hall and the greatest one at Lond Garland as well. We need that here. This is a wealthy region. Okay, maybe we should just go for some... Well, we don't have any more cheap buildings that we can get anymore. Everything is actually quite expensive now. So... I'm really not quite sure what we should get here. Maybe aim for some growth here at Skilliath perhaps. We're going for the practice range here in order to get ranges. The farms here boost up the population growth at Western Oskilia because this place takes longer to make uh, to get upgraded than Eastern because here you can actually it's already the population is a lot larger than Western Oskilia. So we're going for the farms here to boost the population growth. Minas Tirith, Morg men to the cause. Good, we need them. Every soul is needed. Here. Um, yeah, we're gonna send three units uh, of space here as well. Everyone is needed. Uh, what on earth does this guy have with him? 37 units of cav, 46 crossbows, 20 clansmen, 38 hunters, 48 warriors, and 155 Udej marines. 10 attack, 14 defense. We have archers. Uh, withdraw for now. We have archers. And they are pretty solid. And we also have a castle. This is a castle. I think we can fight this battle without sending reinforcements over there. I really do think we can. And we're gonna try. Some wars. Isengard at war with the Lothlorien. High Elves. Rangers of the North. Okay. Uh, Interesting. Trading Grease Farmer, Gatekeeper. That's a good trade, I think. Let's take a look at that. This general commanded the army to victory during the siege of the Black Gate. That's a good thing. Well done, Faramir. Um, I'm pretty sure, as I've said, 
that they're going to bring in. Let's actually move you over to Baradur itself. Two Norskulls in there. And some Sauron's Wheel. Yeah, this is a tough location. Never mind. See, we really want to get this location. We really want to get it. Uh, we really need to wipe these armies out. Um, before they can make a move. Um, so, we're going to take every guy out of here. Except these spears. And we're going to try and do something here. We want to bring them down. Uh, they're going to hate us. Uh, we're going to send in these guys in there for now. Just to boost it up a bit. Faramir, can you join? Can you actually join this battle? We are going to need you. Let's uh, leave the... 70%. That's enough for now. I wonder if we attack this army. Hopefully Fallen will actually join. It's important that he does. This army is not that strong. They have some ballistas though, but... It's not the best army in the world, is it? It's not. And as long as we have the cow with us, we should be able to bring them down with ease. Faramir. I'm just going to go in and bring this army down. I'm just going to play this battle off screen. And just harass them down, basically. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so we're going to see each other when this battle is over. Well, we're just totally bullying these guys so hard. They cannot even go forth because they're getting stunlocked by my archers here. They cannot even walk. That's how hard they're getting destroyed here. That's just wonderful. We wanted to really to get rid of this Halberdian because Halberdians in a large army can be really threatening. So one less Halberdian unit to deal with is always going to be good. And my javelins are out of ammunition now. Let's just finish them off with the archers then, shall we? Fast forward this because this is over. Let the archers finish the job. There we go. The captain is still alive, but he should fall at any second now. Continue. There we go. He's dead. Okay. Good. We can actually take a look at the kills. Um, 37 Ithilien Rainers. Well done. Good job. This army is now gone. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's see now if we can bring this army down. I'm not entirely sure which army we should attack with. Probably Forlong's army because we want to take control of this army. But we need to make sure that we have at least one cavalry unit reinforcing. Uh, let's take a look here. Yep, Forlong is going to reinforce. And this army is not that threatening. Uh, the Ballistas and the Maulers are quite threatening, the Black Uruks. But uh, they don't have a general here. And the general is in the South on Lance unit. So hopefully we should be able to bring him down rather swiftly. Um... Let's try and attack with Forlong himself though. We, we want to control this army. This is actually the more potent of the armies. The better one of the two. They actually have this army as well, which has a ballista unit. So we need to remember that and bring that down as well. We're not going to allow you to be controlled by the AI. We want to control this army or, on our own because we want, don't want them to just uh, sacrifice Faramir here. Uh, we want to control this army. Absolutely. Uh, let's go in and let's see if we can totally wipe out and annihilate. That's going to leave us a lot stronger for the potential doom stack that should spawn at the end of the next turn. Be that army then that we have to deal with. Uh, so yeah, we should definitely go in here and try and wipe these guys out. Let's do it with Forlong and Faramir. Uh, okay, start the battle. Uh, Faramir spawning over there, okay. I think we should go aggressive mode here and start walking over to them. Uh, everyone is walking over. Their army is over there, quite a bit off. <clears throat> the reinforcements are spawning in. We need to try and link up with this army if we can. We're getting some really solid units spawned in here. <clears throat> some rangers, some more infantry, some Pelagi marines, uh, a lot of archers. Good spawn in units. Uh, the first objective to take down is going to be this bloody ballista here. We need to find a way to get to this ballista with the cavalry that we have. And we're going to start moving these guys over here already. Prepare for that. 
Faramir and the archers and every one of you. If you could run over here and try and link up with the army. You can walk over there. You can take a slow, steady path on the sides here. For now. The archers are going to run though. Even though they might get exhausted in the process, we're going to make them run. Are they actually walking towards my smaller army? I think they are. It looks like they are. Okay. Let's see if we can hide behind this little hill here with the cavalry. Uh, and see if we can get a tiny little opening against this unit here. That's what we need. That's exactly what we need. We might be able to catch these guys off guard though with our front line. We're gonna try. Move over there, somewhere around there. Archers, you're gonna try and go over there somewhere on this little hill here perhaps. Stand over there maybe. And you are gonna stand in behind them. These guys are trying to run. That is good. Uh, their ballista is still kind of guarded. We could try and harass them a bit here with him. But if their ballista decides to fire at him, we might, we're risking his life. But we're gonna actually go in here and just harass them a little bit here with Mistven. We can take a melee fight with these guys with Mistven. I'm not worried about that. We have some Gondor Spearmen, Ithilien Rangers and Amrothian Squires waiting outside. Um, not too much of a problem. I think we have this in the bag with the armies that we have with us here. Harass these Southron Lancers. The Ballista is actually turning to fire. Uh, go this way. Are they running towards my cab? I think they are. Okay, you need to kite back from there then. Try to, try to make them face our stronger army. You're harassing these guys. That's good. I've killed one cavalry unit. Always something. Uh, I don't think you need to run anymore. Um, just to form up somewhere around here actually I think we can start running front line get to this position on this little hill here that would be absolutely perfect if you could where's that ballista they're over there they're trying to fire at Eorthon don't let them they're heavily guarded by some maulers and raiders here. Uh, we could go in for a charge, a cheeky charge here, because they don't have any spears in here, what I can see. We could try, just disrupt them a little bit here. Hey, you know what, let's try. Maybe we should try. Eorthon, move over there as well. We have them where we want them to be. You can actually go over here now as well. They're not going after you anyways. Okay, they're starting to run. Orc Maulers are getting up there. Okay. We have the pikes, but the rest of the melee forces are actually... They need to run. Get over there. Start frontlining. Eorthon. Go for a charge at the ballista crew there. We don't want to leave these pikes alone here, fighting. Form up over there. There we go. We have them in... Oh, go for the ballista, you two. Go for a charge against them. Kite out, Eorthon. Mistven is going in for a charge here. The rest of the front line is getting there, but they're taking their time. My archers are in range. Um, my front line is actually quite a bit away from here. Full on move over there. Okay. Uh, uh, get out, Mistven. Get out, both of you. We don't want you to die here. If we can single out these Southron Lancers here, that would be great. We could take them in a melee fight with the cavalry forces that we have. Uh, we're going to do that. Fire one volley and go for a charge against them, both of you. We should win this fight. We have far greater cavalry than they do. I'm not feeling worried. Oh. Actually closing in on my archers. Try to fall back if you can. We want our melee forces to deal with these guys, not the archers. Some of my guys got stuck there, but we have some Gondor infantry here to save the day. 
you're going and you can help with the Maulers. That's not the ideal opponent for you, but... Uh... Okay, just fire down over here with the archers. Fire down some... Oh, fire some Maulers as well. Not you, though. You're going to stay where you are. Four long. You can flank in between here if you want to. Where's the Marines? Where are the Marines? They're all, all over there. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to run over there. Get over there. How is it going here? We're wiping their cab out. Wonderful. They're sending some orc band over, but nothing we need to worry about. Their ballista is firing. We need to get one of the cavalry units out of there. Iorthon, get out and shut that ballista down. Ringlow swordsmen. They're breaking. They're actually breaking. That's how weak they are. Enemy general fallen. Okay, we're gonna see a massive rouse here, I think. We need to make sure that we catch all of these guys. We don't want them to return. Pop some abilities as well. We need to try and get a chain route here. Just break everything in your path. Throw at the maulers. Try to disengage. You can fire at them. Okay, they're not going for them. Fire at them then. You can kite away. Pikes. Go after the maulers. Just to break everything you can. These guys are still not broken. Come on, break them. Everything needs to die here. We need them to die because we don't want these guys to return with a Nazgul leading them. That would be devastating. Make sure that these orc... Okay, they're broken. Good. Keep chasing them. Orc maulers. If you charge them in the back, they should break. Some of their units are returning to the battlefield here. Make sure that we break them immediately. Keep ch chasing them down. Charge after them. You have dealt with the ballista crew there. Wonderful. These guys are broken. These guys are broken. You can chase after these guys. Don't let them return. Archers. Save your ammunition for this army here. Stand somewhere around there and prepare to fire. Take that off for now. Actually, just walk over there. There we go. We've killed 38% of their entire army, but uh, we need to kill more. We need to kill more. We want to annihilate this entire army. Don't let them return. Actually, infantry. You don't need to chase. You are not needed for the chase. Because you're just going to get tire tired unnecessarily. And we do not want that. Do we? No, we don't. Just to form up somewhere around there. Walk over there slowly. You can get over there as well. How is going with the chase? Are you getting any kills here? Come on. Keep chasing. Ignore that unit. Go after another instead. Actually, no. We're going to keep you over here because we might need you um, against their ballista crew, which is over there. Yeah, we're going to save you over here and use you against the ballista crew. Mistven is going to keep on charging down and just trying to destroy these routing troops. There's a lot of troops routing still. A lot of troops. These guys are actually returning to the fight as well. But they're going to be easily broken, so I'm not feeling too scared. Oh, we actually have a fight here. Black Uruks, okay. Can you please help them? Go on the ring over there. Do we have a Moran Guard over there? Okay. Axe throw, just make these guys break, please. My marines are not suited for fighting these guys. They're spears. We've taken a lot of prisoners. Keep charging down these guys. Just kill everyone. Go after the maulers there. Go cheeky to the side there. Throw your things at these black urx, please. Just destroy them. <clears throat> These guys are actually returning to the battlefield. I don't think you're doing too well here. It's going too slow. I know that you're exhausted, but uh, c 
keep chasing them. Come on. Why don't we just uh, annihilate these orc scouts? Cavalry, see if you can kite more and go after the ballista there. These guys are not going to have the best of days, I can guarantee you that. Spears and Forlong. Form up a little line here. Can, you can just go in and crush these guys on your own, I think. You should be able to. They're probably going to break swiftly here. Forlong is a beast. Yeah, they're wavering already. They're going to break in any second. Well done, you've almost destroyed that unit. Keep going. Charge after them. Destroy everything in your path. Yeah, these guys did break. They have some more run on guard there. You can deal with them if you want to. Eorthon. Charge the ballista. Switch focus now with the archers, please. Um, go for the orc maulers. You can go for the maulers there. You can go for the Moran and go, go for the maulers. Everyone just go for the maulers. They're easily killed. Let's go for you. Moran and God over there. You can, don't go after them, please. <clears throat> Let's take a little look here. Uh, they're, oh, okay, they're falling back again. Okay. Well, they just keep going. Going. Fire at them. Fire at will. Uh, we've lost 8% of our army. It's actually quite great. These guys are broken, these guys are broken. Go after the Black Uruks there. Mistwin. Anything else you could charge down, perhaps? Firing at the Moran and Guard. Go for the scouts. Kill them. You can actually just... Yeah, you're charging the Black Uruks. Feel free to do that. Uh, let's fast forward because we have this battle in the bag. There's no question about it. These guys are actually shaken already. We're just shredding through these maulers like they're butter. Go for the more healthier units now. Pelagi Marines. Step forth. Throw a little volley at them. They're broken. Throw a volley at these guys then. Melee forces, it's time to push forwards a bit now. Go forth. You are going to fall back. Just go back. I don't think we're going to need you anymore in this battle, actually. They're already shaken as well, so... Yeah, they're going to break. Ah, oh, get out. Get out. Seventy-three percent of the arm has been killed. How is it going here? We have killed the Ballista Crow. Okay, good. Go back, then. Let's fast forward this. This is... Oh, you're fighting someone here. That's not good. That's not good. Come on. Get the hell out of there. You're fighting them around and guard. That's not intended. Come on. Get the hell out. Are you safe? Oh, did he just die? Oh, where is he? Where is... Oh, he's over there. Okay. Bloody hell. Moran on guard. Refusing to admit defeat here. Just looking here. Everything looking decent, I hope. It looks like it is. Everyone is broken. Archers, you can actually move forth again. Stand over there. These guys have returned. Let's just kite them and uh, let them, my archers fire at them. You should not go over there. Go back. Mistwin. Orc Maulers, come on. Are these guys still fighting? Yeah, they're broken. Okay, you know what? Keep chasing them and you're just gonna kill these maulers. Get rid of them. Archers, you're in position. Fire at the Moran and Guard over there. You can fire at these Orc Band over there, why not? Just get rid of them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. This ha has actually turned out to be a decent battle, it feels like. It feels like we've done everything we needed to do. Just kite them. Let my archers finish the job here. You can charge after the orc band because they're broken. 
every range troop go after these guys please and destroy them please yeah doesn't look too great does it you're charging over these guys there we go they're broken continue the battle though uh, let's see if we can get some more kills here before we end it just to go away You're charging after the Moran Guard. You're chasing after these guys. They have a lot of things still breaking away. Moran Guard over there is a unit we should try and bring down. Let's charge after it. There we go. Their captain has been killed by Eorthon. Well done. Just plowing through everything here. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This has been a great episode, I think, um, so far. It's been a really great episode. We've done everything in our might to keep the dark forces at bay. And, uh, yeah, let's exit the battle. Because it is over. Is clear, victory. clear victory. This was a decent battle, I would say. Quite a long one, but really quite decent. Um, we lost 226 guys. Hopefully... Both of these armies are now utterly destroyed. This army might still be alive though, but uh, now we are really quite prepared to face the doomstack that is going to spawn. Uh, Blackroot Veil vale Archers, 310 kills. They got the most kills this day. No, the White Knights got the most kills, okay. Everyone performed well, the Pikes did well, but they took some losses though, but uh, yeah, this was a good battle. Uh, nice. The lands of Mordor are now quite clean from Orcish filth at the moment. Um, but there's one more challenge. There is this Doomstack that is going to spawn in the next turn. I'm pretty sure it will, it, it's going to spawn. Uh, we'll see each other on the campaign map. A crushing victory. For Gondor. Let's execute them all. Hopefully that army got... We got rid of one army. And that army also got wiped out. Enemy camp sacked. Well done lads. Well done. Uh, we have this little army here. We could wipe out if we wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> Forlong you cannot reach. Faramir. These generals can reach. Let's see if we, how good of a governor are they. Can you make them happy here perhaps? 60% it's not enough can you make the, the it's 70% there if Eorthon goes in there it's at 70 okay good I think Faramir along with some units is going to go back to, Mor to the Moranon because Ruin might attack us here so we need somewhat of a garrison there and Faramir and some rangers are gonna do the job of that and I really want to get out of here but we cannot do it Boromir, is there anything we can do to get him out of there? We could send Forlong into Durthang and then um, let uh, Eorthon govern Uchestolad and then we should have Boromir and Mistven with all of the remaining forces striking at Baradur. That could be a thing. But we're going to try and return back to just a lot because I'm sensing that the doom stack is probably going to attack here at this low you can actually go back home and retrain yourself you've done enough here um, yeah hopefully we can I really want the doom stack to attack us at you just a lot because then we can wipe them out quite easily you go back to do the thing for now keep them happy Anything we could get hit that would help us. The school would be nice. Uh, ah, yeah, maybe we should try and get the school here, actually. Is there anything we can destroy at the Moranon? Anything? I don't think so. I think we can make use of everything here. It looks like we can. Uh, how many turns until we can get these guys? 16 turns. Minas, Ethel, Guardians. We should definitely get the Rangers here. We're going to get them. Queue them up. Okay, pretty solid work, I have to say. I'm pretty pleased. Uh, you guys, uh, where could we get the Ringlow guys? 
was it here? Ethering, yes. Uh, you know what? You two, go back over there. Retrain yourself over there and then return over here. At this area, at this theatre. The Western Theatre. <clears throat> um, okay, good. I'm really sensing it. We're doing well, we're doing things. Um, however, this is a problem, but I think he can do it. I really think he can, and we're gonna... Yep, we're gonna roll the dice here, and just, because, I mean, he has decent stats as well, so let's end the turn. We're gonna roll the dice and hope that he is gonna be able to defend at Gelebrin. I think he can, we have towers, and he can also do a lot of damage from range, and he's also a competent melee fighter, uh, that general, so... But first, we have this battle, and this battle I'm going to fight in the next episode. Uh, the Battle of Tirithoros. As always, we're gonna try and use Imrahil outside of the walls in the starting phases of this battle. Um, because if they go inside, I'm fearing that the rangers are just gonna carve through all of my men with ease. So, we're gonna try and do as much damage with Imrahil and the Amrothian squires before the battle begins. And let the rangers harass these pikes. That's the thing we want to do. I hope that you've enjoyed. I'm so happy to be back. And it was really fun to record. I'm really a little bit rusty in my voice and in my English. I haven't talked English in eight days. So I hope that you forgive me. I'm going to be back on track as always um, um, in the future episodes, I hope. Uh, but um, for now, have a bloody beautiful day. And... Goodbye to you all.